These are the two habits that are killing your pickleball game. I know this doesn't look like my typical surroundings, either shooting a little video from the office or uh, with the pickleball court behind me or on the pickleball court. I'm not. Uh, if you can see the little uh, safety moose, I'm, I'm on the ski hill. In fact, it's President Week. It's been a really busy week, so I've been doing a ton of skiing. But I wanted to take a few minutes and to shoot this video to talk about the two mistakes that I see people making on the pickleball court. In fact, they make these mistakes in every sport that I've ever coached, and I've made these mistakes myself. And what you can do about them, more importantly, to play better pickleball. I, my name is CJ Johnson, and my background is actually in the golf industry. That's where I started in, and I'm also a professional skier. That's why I'm at the ski hill today. But pickleball and teaching pickleball is my passion. So the two mistakes that I think that I see most often are the very first one. This is such a fun game to play, but we play more than we practice. Who plays more than they practice? If you do a little thumbs up or a little heart, um, that's pretty common for all of us. I see that in skiing. I saw that in golf all of the time. When you play more than you practice, you don't always focus on the skills that you need to develop to become a better player. In fact, there are a lot of times that when I see people play, they want to win every single point, hit their best shot every time. And in consequence, they never try some shots that will ultimately make them better players. As an example, I see this a lot in the 3-0 level. 3-0, a very hard driving shot from the baseline is often effective. And, and frankly, it can be effective at every level. But better players might try the drive and then the second shot they hit would be a soft shot to get their team into the kitchen. What I see people do at certain levels is maybe hit that driving shot and keep hitting it and keep hitting it and keep hitting it because they don't hit the drop shot or the soft shot well. And all they want to do is win the point because that's all they're doing is they're playing to win. They are not playing to get better. So if you really want to get better, you need to focus on some practice time. It, how much time? You know, that's pretty simple. How good do you want to get? What, what do you want to do with your pickleball game? If you want to be a top tournament player or get to be a 4-5 or a 5-0, you're going to need to practice more than you actually play. The top players do. What can I tell you? That's, that's just the way it works. The same happens here at the ski hill. I go out and I have a lot of fun skiing, but I spend a lot of time on runs that are very easy to do, practicing and working on things that'll make me a better skier when I get into bumps and steeps and variable conditions. It was that way on the golf course as well. I spent a lot of time on the range and a lot of time hitting practice shots in the, the sand and on the short game, that type of thing, in order to go out on the golf course and play well. So if you want to become a better pickleball player, schedule in some practice time. If you just want to get a little bit better, make it 10 minutes at the beginning of the game or 10 minutes after a game. That is a certainly a great start. You do that two or three times a week, and all of a sudden you're putting in 30 minutes of practice in a week, and you are going to find some differences in your pickleball game. Now, if you're one of those people that absolutely can't find a lot of time to practice, try not winning every point. Try giving yourself something specific to do during that game. Uh, as an example, I am going to hit a third shot every single time it comes to me, a soft shot into the kitchen, and I'm gonna hit that shot regardless if it goes into the net or not. Don't feel bad about missing the point. You're giving yourself a chance to actually practice and to make some changes about it. So try and see if you can incorporate either more practice time or some specifics during a game to give you some things to focus in on your game and ultimately make you a better player. So that's the number one thing that's probably really hurting your pickleball game. The number two thing, it's your fitness level. I, I know it is for me. When I was a golf pro, I was competitive. I was a good player. I weighed 250 pounds. I was obese. I had a hard time breathing. But I told everybody that that did not impact my game. That was a lie. It does impact your game. And the fact of the matter is, most of you who are watching this on this channel are over the age of 50. I'm 54. 
things have changed, right? They're different. I'm not saying they're good. I'm not saying they're bad. I am just saying they're different. What I notice most about my fitness is this. The mistakes that I could get away with a few years ago, like not stretching before or after I played, not working on my balance, not working on my eyesight and my coordination. I could get away with those years ago. I can't get away with those anymore. When I don't stretch, I feel sore. My body gets tight. I don't perform as well. So if you're not sure what's holding you back, I'm going to put a link down in the show notes. A while back, uh, back in November, I did a series on the five key areas of fitness. Muscle, muscle strength, muscle endurance, um, your body fat percentage, your cardio, as well as your balance and your flexibility. Those are the five key areas. My guess is, if you're like me, most of us were maybe good in some areas and maybe not so good in others. This fitness test is designed to show you where are you strong and where are you weak based on your age. Because again, it does change a little bit for us. So I'm gonna put a link in the show notes down below and you can take a look at that and see where you are. My guess is for most of us, there's two areas that we could start on right away that will help, uh, it'll help us in any sport. It's also gonna help us in life. Number one is working on our balance. Bottom line is this, as we get older, as we age, our balance gets worse. Plain and simple. Trips and falls start to happen. In fact, that's one of the biggest reasons that um, people are really injured for life and sometimes die is life-changing falls and injuries. So if you start by practicing your balance, and I did a video on balance, I've done a couple of them, but I did one back at the end of January, and I'm gonna also put a link in the show notes down below uh, to that one. But if you start practicing your balance just a few minutes every day, you will be surprised and how much better you will get at it, and very quickly. One of the things that you can just do anywhere you are, stand on one foot. Just stand there, stand on one foot, Close your eyes, <laughs> get the feeling of being in balance. One of my race coaches when I was a young girl said that every morning when we got up to put on our ski socks, we needed to do it on one foot. It's a habit that I still have. Balance on one foot while you're doing a variety of activities. If you kind of incorporate that into your daily life, you will be surprised at how well your balance gets, how much it improves. And bottom line is that's gonna help your pickleball. The second thing that you can do is mobility, because here's what happens. It, it, our, our joints and our tendons and our flexibility, it, it changes. We have arthritis, we have aches and pains, we have injuries, we have all those sorts of things that happens to us. So flexibility is another issue. Make a couple minutes after your pickleball game, five minutes, just to do a few simple stretches. If you do those stretches afterwards, you're going to find that your body starts to perform better and it responds better while you're playing pickleball. And just in general, you're gonna feel a lot healthier. Uh, I did shoot a video a while back on some of those stretches that you can do after pickleball. So I am going to put that down in the show notes as well. So really, those two things are killing your pickleball game, a lack of practice and a lack of fitness. So take a look at your own game, decide where you can make some improvement, use a couple of those hints, perhaps a couple of those videos that I have shared, and you'll be on your way to playing better pickleball. I would love to know what have you done in terms of your fitness, or in terms of your practice that has helped you to play better pickleball. So if you've got some comments, make sure you go ahead and put them below. I would love to see those. That's how I learn as well, because you know what? Together we can train smart, live bold, and age well. I'll see you guys next week with another pickleball video. Have a great night.